Alright, so we're outside the warehouse. We're about to get in the car to make the drive. You know, I want to record every moment of this journey. So, you know, we're about to get in the car and drive like an hour and a half to what Army West Point. We have all denominations, Jewish chapel, the Catholic chapel, all everybody, for any soldier that would come here or any cadet, there's something to accommodate them. So this is the plaque. If you ever see during a game, they're holding this plaque up and somebody's holding a replica of this and they're touching it. This is a famous statement for uh, General Marshall. And the reason for this is like, even on top of that, a West Point football player is dealing with so much adversity when they're trying to do this and competing on the gridiron at such a high level that they've gained a level of experience that you want that as much as possible. So like, even even like the football players, like, like they're like training to be an officer? Absolutely, they meet all the same criteria as any other cadet. They just have to deal with now dealing, you know, a division one football player. So the practices they're going through, they gotta meet all the same criteria. They're gonna do all the same military training, everything else with That's this. Crazy. So they come to practice and after that, yeah, I gotta do, I gotta get my assignments done, everything. That's so fun. one of the key things in that objective is finding that balance. They've gotta find a way to make it work and still yeah. meet that high standard. <laughs> Victor Castro, I'm the director of Army West Point Esports. I'm a DoD civilian that works here in the West Point Simulation Center, and I pretty much manage all the higher level stuff for uh, the program. Yeah, so uh, my name is Cadet Parker Wilson. I'm currently the uh, cadet in charge of the Army West Point Esports team. Well, I'm Cadet Adam Rocca. My name's Cadet Jonah Landis. I'm a yuck here at West Point. I've been at West Point for the last three and a half years. I actually just branched field artillery last night, uh, so super excited. Boom, boom. Uh, I am from Manhattan, Kansas originally, uh, the Little Apple, and I have uh, kind of just playing video games ever since I was a little kid. I, uh, I got a Game Boy Color when I was three years old, and uh, ever since playing Advanced Wars on that, I've just been playing games ever since. It's been a really awesome time. I've been at West Point two years now, at least this is my second year. I've joined the esports program right off the bat, came in here during Beast. I was in this room, which is like our basic training, and I saw all these setups and I thought, man, that's something I want to do. And here I am doing it and I love it. Love every minute of it. I've been part of the program since the get-go and I'm the media manager. So everything you think of production, that's me and my team. Uh, we do a lot of the social media, hype videos, um, streams, FODs, pretty much anything behind the scenes. This kind of weird first time in front of the camera, usually I'm behind it. But um, yeah, so I've been part of the program for about a year and a half now. How excited are you for these um, upgrades and what do they mean to you? I'm ecstatic because everything, every big competition, we love coming in here. We love competing together with the great equipment, but the equipment can always get better. Not only with better equipment, will we, will we be able to perform better because we'll have better tools, you're able to do better with them, but it also makes it a more an immersive environment. You come in here, things look better, things look cleaner. You just get ready to go more quickly and you just, the energy gets elevated immediately. Yeah, I am stoked. As you can see, like we have some awesome swag in here already and we've really just been waiting for that next piece, right? And these computers are gonna do it. Um, they are sleek, they are nice, they're awesome and they capture your attention immediately, but they also run perfectly. Um, there's a lot of ways in which that's gonna be able to help us win. Uh, you know, there's gonna be a lot of upgrades in the sense of saying, you know, we don't have to worry about any more lag spikes, any more frame drops, comms are gonna be more efficient, all that stuff. It's, it's gonna be like, tenfold better and, and and i know we're all stoked to have those in here and, and really get after it next season yeah so um obviously it's great for the players we have pretty good technology right now um, but with these systems you know getting to have much better resolution especially for shooting games is going to be great you know higher fps all of these things are good um, from a production standpoint this is massive i mean it's absolutely huge like what this is going to allow us to do is, is going to be great. Um, being able to actually collect video from all of the cameras at once and make a stream that you know, shows and consolidates what each of the players are doing is, is huge. It's what happens in industry and it's something that we're really missing. Um, being able to get a catalog and vlog, uh, or sorry, VOD of what each player is doing and running that back um, like after the match as, as well is going to be massive to the teams. 
Um, I mean, all, all around, this is just going to bolster our production uh, you know, abilities. There's tons of things that we're not thinking of now that we'll come up with that this technology will allow us to do that you know, we're not even sure. Um, you know, better, obviously, better production on streams and things like that, but for making video as well, like being able to edit stuff up here, you know, especially 3D and that stuff that takes way more computational power. Um, you know, right now, personally, like I edit on a rig in my room that I built. <laughs> like, uh, being able to come up and have a dedicated space with enough processing power to just crunch through all of that video and process it out, like while I'm editing things in real time, is game changing. It's it's massive. I can't I can't wait for it. A lot of people don't. It actually started in 2019, uh, late 2019, and we actually got, you know, we got solid about it in 2020. And that's when it actually got approved as a program at the academy. And you know, we're going on our third year, looking at the fourth year. Well, the whole thing started with Rainbow Six Siege. Um, that started with our first eight players. And then at least one year after that, we grew from eight to almost 50 something players. So we expanded to Call of Duty, Valorant, Overwatch, League of Legends, Rocket League, at least six games from there. We, we, um, we dabbled a little bit with Halo, but some of the infrastructure for Halo wasn't quite there yet. So. Uh, it's still something we're very interested in. Oh, I'm old school, man. I, I, I bought one of the first Super Nintendos. I'm not dating myself, but I've played everything from Mortal Kombat 1 all the way to where it is now. You know, I, I never competed in that sense, but yeah, I've done it all. I've done from ColecoVision to up to Nintendo, up to PlayStation 1, pretty much all of it. What are, your, what are some obstacles and challenges that you face running this program? Um, well, you know, things change quick. You know, a lot of times we, we try to use the technology we have. Um, it, you know, some of the things we do as far as purchasing and support, you know, we have a lot of great sponsors. We're able to work within the commercial environment, but working for, the, you know, in the government, things take time. And as things take time, things change and it gets difficult. So some of the technology we're working with now, a little bit outdated, uh, and we, we got to start looking towards the future. So that process, it takes a lot of forethought and it takes a lot of planning. So right now, I would argue we're probably not the best we could be at this state, so we're, we're looking towards making a change. You and I have been working on some incredible, incredible mm -hmm. upgrades on computers, and monitors, peripherals, and headsets. What do these upgrades mean to you? Well, it, it, it levels the playing field. Um, it makes sure that the, the, you know, the cadets that are playing for Army West Point Sports have the right tools for the right job. They have the best equipment. And then it'll isolate their work. It'll isolate their practicing. It'll isolate their performance. We know that the machines are going to perform at the highest level possible. So given the best equipment, now our cadet captains and our players can like work on what they really need to work on. There's small things like frame rate drops or any hiccups that are happening with the current machines that are completely eliminated at that point. I don't think you guys understand how beautiful this room is going to look like after these seven PCs are installed and the seven brand new components like peripherals, keyboard and mice, the monitors, the headsets, and their incredible stream setup. Uh, after talking with Victor, um, the improvements and his existing stream setup is beyond incredible. It is so beautiful, so high end. There's like five total monitors um, and we're going to make that setup look even crazier. So please stay tuned uh, for part two. It's going to be crazy.